Yo, what's going on, guys? Christian Flakes here. Welcome to Scenarios. This is where we look at things in the NBA that are never going to happen, but we're just kind of wondering what if. Uh, be sure to like this video, guys, because next episode we are going to be looking at what would happen if Penny Hardaway and Shaquille O'Neal were on the Orlando Magic today. You know, that little uh, duo they had going back in the day. It was so awesome, so awesome. So, so be sure to like this video for that video. Um, this episode, very highly requested scenario in the comment section, and that is Prime Dwayne Wade on the Miami Heat. Now, we all know that Dwayne Wade is currently already on the Miami Heat, um, but this is like D-Wade before he had all, any of those knee injuries, or really any injury at all, and really just uh, prime Dwayne Wade in general. You know, just um, back when he could play point guard, he doesn't really play point guard anymore, at least not that I know about. Um, but man, Dwayne Wade, a.k.a. The Flash, this is one of my fa all-time favorite players to watch. I'm sure it was one of your guys' too. Um, he really just does some amazing things out there on the basketball court, and I don't know, I'm really actually excited to see how this team does with a prime Dwayne Wade. Uh, because, you know, looking at his stats, he's never really been much of a three-point shooter. You know, I could actually argue that his mid-range could be a little bit higher. Nothing I, nothing I love more, guys, than Dwayne Wade. Dribbling to the right, crossover to the left, step back. Dwayne Wade. <sighs> awesome, guys. He, he's made some such such amazing, like, just like trick shots and so many crazy things. Just YouTube him. I mean, you guys know what I'm talking about. I'm sure a lot of you guys have watched him, too. Uh, we all... Okay, I thought his driving dunk was a 35 for a second. I was like, what the hell is going on, Ronnie? I'm about to call you up, Ryan 2K, and complain about this. Um, even an 80 overall, I feel like it could be a little bit better. Um, so this is this is him at the age of 23, so maybe it's not quite as prime. His prime probably came a few you know a few years later, probably more when he was like 24, 25, 26 years old. Uh, but this still gives us a pretty good idea of it right here, so I'm fine with that. Uh, passing vision, this guy definitely, you know, great core vision for a guard out there. Um, I really want to see what his defense is, though. Like, his block in particular. 55 block! Yo, this dude was, this dude for a while there was averaging, like, literally two blocks a game as a guard. Are you going to tell me it's a 55 block? Steal 77, okay, maybe. I still think that should be a little bit higher, but a 55 block? Whatever you say, 2K, whatever you say. Um, but looking at weight on this team right here, guys... You know, Hassan Whiteside, this guy's been a beast right here. I mean, I can only imagine this dynamic of Dwayne Wade and Hassan Whiteside. And, uh, I mean, this guy's averaging, uh, not averaging, but he's getting triple doubles with block shots. I mean, he's getting, like, you know, he's done, like, four times a season, right? Like, in, the, in, like, the last two seasons or whatnot. So, that's really good right there. Let me fix this here real quick. We got Dwayne Wade at 40 minutes a game. That's looking good. That's looking good. Um, but we all know that this D-Way is back when he played with Shaquille O'Neal. One Shaq kind of, uh, you know, got... I, th I think it was more of a, did he kind of like demand a trade out of LA when he went to the Miami Heat? I think it was kind of like that. Um, but let's go ahead, simulate this season, see how he does out there, see how this team does. Um, I definitely, th you know, this year, Miami Heat is actually, was actually like my dark horse in the East uh, to come out of the Eastern Conference. And I'm uh, not saying that because they're a bad team, just because it's not really the first team you think about. Of course, the first team being the uh, Cleveland Cavaliers. So let's go ahead and simulate through date, see how they do out there. Um, of course, a uh, prime Dwayne Wade. In this day and age, could definitely make it to the finals, and I even think win the finals. Although it seems like, you know, Dwayne Wade, he's always had to have that second guy on his team, which I think any really, really any NBA team that wins the championship needs more than one good guy. Um, LeBron James came close, you know, back in what was it, like 2007 when he went to the uh, finals against the San Antonio Spurs, but ended up getting swept. So you know, every every team does need that guy um, to play alongside their superstar to really give him a good chance. And I think a guy like Hassan Whiteside, I didn't even talk about Chris Bosh at all. Um, even a Goran Dragic, who hasn't really fit exactly into the scheme of the Miami Heat that much. Um, but still a very good serviceable player, you know, nonetheless. And look at the record right here. We got us at like a fourth seed, kind of fluctuating between fourth and third seed. So, uh, you know, chemistry is getting built up. Come playoff time, I think this team will be a lot better. And um, I, I have not played a scenario yet where I've seen the Miami Heat actually win the NBA uh, Finals. Although I've done a scenario with LeBron James back in Miami, and that team might have won. Um, but it seems like for the most part, it's pretty much either, either the uh, Cleveland Cavaliers, uh, the Thunder, or the Warriors winning it. Sometimes the Spurs, I think. So, you know, it really is, it really is hard to break through that 2K algorithm because uh, they already have it kind of like coded into the game who's probably going to win. You know, I bet you I bet you 50 bucks right now. I'm not going to bet $50 because last episode this is not true. Um, that Kevin Durant is going to win the MVP. Although last scenario, it was actually Russell Westbrook. So, you know, I guess I should not, I guess I should not be betting $50 out there. All right, so we are second in the conference now. I'm really curious to see what kind of numbers D-Wade is putting up with this team right here and kind of seeing how um, his teammates are doing because he definitely is one of those players that makes everybody around him better just with some of his flashy passing, just his ability, you know, especially Chris Bosh. Like, Chris Bosh is a perfect player to put alongside a prime Dwayne Wade, you know, because Dwayne Wade would get to that basket and he would just kick it out to Bosh and bam, wide open three. And uh, hopefully he would not miss it. But actually, 
Chris Bosh is in the three-point shooting contest, but he's injured, so he's not actually going to be in it. Or was not in it, I should say. I'm actually making this before that, so. <laughs> um, third in the conference, first in the division. Okay, so, you know, look at the record, about 45, 50-win team, roughly. All right, Kevin Durant, you all owe me $50. You all owe me $50 send my PayPal accounts. I'm just joking. <laughs> Uh, Carl Anthony Towns, Rookie of the Year. Brandon Knight, Sixth Man of the Year. This one's kind of different. I don't normally see him right there. DeAndre Jordan, Defensive Player of the Year. CJ McCollum, Most Improved Player. Billy Donovan, Coach. Okay. And we got Prime Dwayne Wade. Didn't make the All-NBA First Team, so, you know, he better have made that team. Like, if he did, I was about to be mad. He should make the All-NBA uh, First Defensive Team, too. Okay, I guess these guys. Okay, I, I can respect that. Second Team. Better be the Third Team. Oh, there's not, there's not even an all-defensive third team. Okay, but in my heart, there is an all-defensive third team, and Dwayne Wade owned every single spot on it. So that's all good. Stanley Johnson, all-rookie second team. Let's go, baby. That's beside the point. That's not even do with the scenario. That's just me going off rant right there. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and check out the stats here real quick for the regular season. We got uh, Dwayne Wade. I got to take a look at his stats, man. 24 points is not bad, but I'm expecting like 27-28. Where's that? Where's that? Oh, my life. Okay, so it's not going to show his previous season. So, um, yeah, the season before that, he was averaging 27 points per game. And we actually has more minutes now, too. Although, it's assists. Damn, he almost averaged 9 assists. Never mind. Okay, so it's not that he wasn't scoring well. It's just that he was getting his teammates involved more, which is fine. Uh, two steals and 1.4 blocks. So, you know, D-Wade definitely should have made the All-NBA first team, in my opinion. Um, or on the All-Defensive first team, in my opinion. Uh, Chris Bosh played very well, 20, you know, about 21 points per game, about 9 rebounds. Always been kind of a weak rebounder. I really think he needs to improve on that, although he's 32 years old, at least in this scenario who he is. So uh, not really much time to improve on that. He kind of just is what he is. Uh, Drogic was actually third on the team in scoring. So he did, you know, good good solid point guard season, 15, 16 points, about 7 assists. Uh, Lou Aldang, you know, played, you know, Lou Aldang's only 30 years old. Wow, he's actually pretty young. Mario Stoudemire played good. Uh, Justin Winslow, the rookie. You know, solid season. It's not white side. Only 6.5 points per game. 12 rebounds. Only 1.5 blocks. You know, 2K needs to get some damn new uh, developers there. Like, updating the MyGM or something like that. Because these numbers are unacceptable, man. But, you know, it's not about some white side. It's about Dwayne Wade. So let's go ahead and simulate the uh, first, uh, first round of the playoffs against the Toronto Raptors. Simulate current rounds. Please beat them. Please beat Come on, come on. Okay, so we beat, we beat the Toronto Raptors 4-2. Now we got the uh, Chicago Bulls in the second round. Wow, look at the Knicks go. Knicks in, Knicks in the second round of the playoffs. Let's go, Knicks. All right. Simulate current round. Okay, so we started off like 2-0 there. Won four straight games, beat the uh, Chicago Bulls 4-2, and now we got the Miami Heat, man. It's always the same damn teams. Thunder, it's going to be uh, Thunder in Cleveland, and the Thunder are going to beat the Cavaliers 4-2. Watch. It's going to happen. Simulate current round. <sighs> we made it to game seven. Still, that's not bad, I guess. We made it to the game seven. We made it to game seven, right? That's still kind of impressive. Watch this. It's going to be 4-2 Thunder. Simulate playoffs. What I say? 4-2 Thunder. 2K developers. Get, get off your asses. Get off your asses and go and make this more, like, different. It's always the same damn stuff out here, man. I'm just saying. I'm not trying to get angry at you, 2K. I'm not trying to get angry. I'm just saying, man. A little, little variety, please. All right, playoff stats. Uh, Dwayne Wade averaged 24 points per game, about eight assists, about two steals, and one point, almost, almost you know, one, two blocks a game. So he was beast in the playoffs right there. Chris Bosh, similar numbers. Rebound went up a little bit. Scoring went up a little bit right there. Dragic, uh, still same typical numbers that he put up in the regular season. So, you know, according to this, Dwayne Wade on this team, um, the team would get to the Eastern Conference Finals. I honestly think they could uh, get to the finals with that, with a prime, healthy Dwayne Wade. But that's just my opinion. Uh, but thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to like this video, and peace out, my friends.